Bill Booth doesn't seem to go away anytime soon. The national security, I understand, has gone uh, once again to pull down two security posts under construction at the Opunglo entrance of the University of Ghana, Legon. The security booths were being reconstructed after it was raised down. You recall that in February, uh, former boss of uh, national security, Colonel Larry, Larry Bevlo Lati, ordered a pulling down of that structure as well. It's happened again for the second time. Matilda Vomega is there for us, and she's joined us live from the University of Ghana. Hello, Matilda. Right. While we while while we uh, try to reestablish contact uh, with Matilda, well, I understand she's back. So, uh, Matilda, you are, you already have enough security men on campus, but I uh, asked when those who came to demolish it, that would be the only concern. Because if somebody can just come to campus and come and demolish a structure on campus without the university authorities being aware of what is happening, then I think it's a major concern when it comes to that angle. Yeah. So you think something should? Yeah, something to be done about it, or if. What, what I have it resolved. Right, we're having a situation with a uh, live feed, and uh, well, would we'll correct that and bring back that interview uh, Matilda Omega is having over there at the University of Ghana compound, uh, University of Ghana campus. Now, let me just tell you what's been happening. Uh, the national security has once again pulled down two security posts and a construction at the Okunglu entrance of the University of Ghana. You recall that sometime in February, uh, the, the former boss, Larry Kennel, uh, Kennel Larry Bevlo Latte, pulled down a similar structure and had claimed the boots and the construction were creating a public nuisance. The recent demolition happened at dawn on Tuesday, June 3, 2014, today. Now, this comes after meetings between national security and the university authorities over the construction uh, of the security booth. National Security Secretariat had issued a statement insisting there had been a meeting. I'll tell you more about that, but now let's, let's go back to Matilda. Matilda is uh, interacting with some students of the University of Ghana over the demolition. Let's take a listen. To, to secure the students here, especially when it comes to the moving so that this place will not be used as a tour of what do you make out of it wow i think that would be that's that's something that i don't think is so realistic because they have a security a security uh, uh kind of point here where security men are there to ensure that all vehicles that can be without university security especially the commercial ones are being inspected uh and so i don't think that's so much of a problem because putting up this the tour will not ensure that uh, so people coming here are not actually robbers, but then would we'll just be taking money from them. So I don't see how that has got to do with the security of the students in any way. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so we have been speaking to some of the students of the University of Ghana campus uh, who have shared some of their thoughts. Uh, uh, we also made to understand that the university authorities are currently in a meeting. As and when they finish with this meeting, we'll try and get to them and speak to them to find out what exactly they make out of the meeting. Right, and so that was Matilda Omega, and indeed, as and when we get that information from the University of Ghana, which is currently, the University of Ghana administration currently locked up in a meeting over the uh, demolition of this toll booth for the second time by national security operatives. We'll bring you that story again. I mean, if not here, in subsequent broadcasts, I'm sure you hear about them. But we want to wrap up our conversation on issuing a euro, a, a third euro bond uh, in July. Well, now the point is, this affects you, it affects me. The, the economy is in a bad shape. We are trying our best to put it back in shape. And we would want to know how best this can help us. Issuing a third euro bond can help us. So Miampa will join us pretty shortly via Skype again. And then we can have this conversation. Uh, you know, we can wrap up on that conversation. But why won't Parliament just reconvene and do some business for the people of Ghana? I have no idea. I'm, I'm thinking we'll find out later on in the broadcast. We'll find out how this affects us, really. 
And well, when we, we get to that interview, we will bring it back. Don't forget, you can share your thoughts with me on social media platforms. Join us on TV, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Kemini or at Join News on TV. But I was asking you, have you faced challenges? Which I am very sure the answer will be a positive yes. You have faced challenges with your beautiful line today. And well, so have I. And I, I've been looking for answers from Vodafone. Thankfully, Vodafone is wanting me to tell you that they would like to apologize to all of us as uh, they have a nationwide outage. And this is affecting your calls, text messages, and internet browsing. It is impacting on both uh, landline and mobile cus customers. They tell us that they are working to resolve the problem as soon as possible. They indeed are very sorry for the inconvenience. That would not be all. Would you get compensation for all the inconvenience?